welcome to my ever growing oil collection in this video i'm going to show you how i use my perfume oil so stay tuned hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel uh, my name is c chronicles this is a different setting uh, this was my daughter's uh, suggestion actually you know that um you know because i want to talk about oils uh, instead of me holding the camera with one hand and then lifting them you know she proposed that she be behind the camera so behind the camera is jemima just say hi to them hi guys mm -hmm. so anyway if you're new to this channel i do mostly fragrances and anything that smells good guys so please do consider subscribing if you're if you're not subscribed and to those who are coming back thank you so much for joining me i have my oils in front of me and the reason why i have them is i i i just thought to do a, a, a how to use your oils um you know a video uh, and this is not to say that people don't know how to use oils, you know, but because I've got quite a few in my collection I'm just going to give you a few tips. I'm also going to link a video that uh, of my oil collection I did an oil collection. I think um, a couple of months ago I'm gonna, uh, you know, link that video as well because there's more tips on that video. Okay, so first of all, obviously I use fragrance oils to enhance, you know, whatever scent, okay, whatever fragrance for instance, okay for instance, this is Baccarat Rouge uh, 540, the uh, Parfum, the extra the Parfum, okay? But I still have this perfume oil, okay? Now, this is an extra so it does contain some 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 oil in them, it, a, a decent, you know, percentage of oil concentration. But because I want my fragrance to work extra hard, okay, I always have fragrance oils there. So obviously, you know, one number one would be to enhance your, um, you know, your fragrance, okay? Now, another tip of how to use your fragrance oils for those who don't like them because most of them come in roller balls like this, okay? A lot of people say, oh, I don't like them because they come in roller balls. If you don't like your oils because they come in roller ball, ball, balls, you can simply shift them and put them in, you know, containers okay i'm going to tell you why i have this ugly looking container okay uh because you can obviously get fancy ones on amazon and ebay but when it comes to oils it's important to know that because they're thick in concentration it's not every container that is going to have oil poured in it and then the atomizer working perfectly i'm going to show you the differences now let me just close here okay so this is what I was saying, okay? This is my ugly container, but it's very useful when it comes to oil. So if you wanna use your oil as a, you know, like a, a spray perfume, of, of, this is what you can do. You use a container with like a big nozzle like this, and then you see as I'm spraying it, it's just spraying like a normal perfume, okay? Now I'm gonna show you the contrast, okay? I have a beautiful uh, container here, okay? And this is also perfume oil in here. This is actually Miu Miu, okay, the original. Now here's how this one sprays that's the difference okay i'm gonna go closer you see it does spray but it takes a couple of puffs there for you to actually get enough i don't know if you can see that you know so when i use this container obviously i just had a blast there and then okay as opposed to this so anyway the point here being it's not about the containers really it's about you transferring your oil so you get it like in a bottle like this okay uh, the oil companies usually send an empty bottle like this to transfer it to. But if you're not that sort that likes using roller balls, you can just buy your, you know, containers. If you don't mind how this one sprays, how long it takes, that's fine. And if you want a nozzle that's just going to go straight to the point and you need something like this. Okay. Now, this is what I should have said actually before I said everything was you also need to test these oils before you do these tricks. Okay. These that I'm talking about. I use my, my oils anyhow because i'm just obsessed with fragrance okay so the first and foremost thing i'm going to say is obviously you need to use your oils on your pulse points okay or your pulse points right because the pulse points uh they have they they they, they what do they call it uh there is some some, some heat because they're close the, the vein is closer to there the, the, it does kind of produce some heat and that mixes with your oil and it gives it uh, or makes it work a little harder and stuff like that same applies to the perfumes now before you do that you need to do an oil you know a skin test obviously you don't want to just you know take these tips that i'm giving you and then start using the oil because you know you don't know uh, some 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 oil companies will claim they have all the you know uh, environmentally safe ingredients but you cannot be sure unless you've used the company for a while so you need to do a skin test obviously now like i said when it comes to me i just use my oils 
everywhere nothing is enough for me but for certain people if you're trying a perfume for the first time or a perfume oil for the first time because oils are concentrated that is the difference and this is why i buy them okay they're not like the perfumes when you spray your perfume it contains part oil part alcohol if it's an extract if it's just a perfume it contains a little bit of oil and it's got a lot of alcohol so you know it, it vapors and blah 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 you know how you know how we roll you know three hour four hour performance eight hour whatever it is but with oils most of them you'll get 15 20 hour performance even up to the next day reason being because they're oils okay so if you're using your oil for the first time it's important you know to try just a little bit on those pulse points reason being you want to know how it's going to you don't want to be choked out by your oil okay that's what i'm saying you don't want to be choked out now when you get used to it or you know it like myself you can then take this tip that i'm talking about and use it anyhow i basically what i do sometimes i'll just take my oil like that rub it on my arms okay you know and use it anyhow or just spray it all over myself or even my hair as well you know spray a bit on my arm okay rub it on my hands and then you know on my hair and i do know that you know uh there is this thing that you shouldn't rub a fragrance or whatever but when it comes to oils you know you can rub some and dab some if you want it just depends you know but with me i found that the performance doesn't change whether i dab or i just you know pat my hands like that and then you know put them on put the oil on I'm not talking about rubbing like this. I'm just talking about like petting, okay? Or just slight movements like that. And then you put it wherever you want to put your, you know, fragrance oil. And obviously by so doing, you smell great every day. Now, another tip is, let's say this is your bath gel, okay? Uh, I've got a gigantic one in the bathroom, so I didn't want to take that. Um, got to use this one. So this, let's say this is your bath gel, okay? And you are going to, you want to layer, for, for instance, you can take some okay if you have a gigantic container like i just said you can look for containers in your home and you can put little bits of your bath gel hopefully an unscented one okay put it in, a in different containers and then put some oil drops in there shake it about and leave it to sit that will scent your bath gel and you know obviously put a label there so if it's bond number nine uh, new york original like this one and i i put this one in a gel i have to label that now if i'm planning to wear bond number nine new york original as my fragrance then it's best if i you know say i'll bath using the bath gel that i've just scented with my oil and then i'll take my lotion as well obviously label it because you don't want to put one oil in your big jar of lotion because it's not every day you want to smell that particular you know scent so you just take you know like a gigantic i've got it somewhere i forgot to bring it here you know take little containers put that i know it sounds like a lot of work to some people but trust me i do this all the time put a couple of drops of perfume oil mix it up leave it there to sit put a label there so if i'm wearing my baccarat rouge 540 i'll then take my bath gel with my baccarat rouge 540 oil in there bath with that okay after the bath take my baccarat rouge 540 oil put it on my body okay and then after that take my baccarat rouge scented oil uh scented lotion with that oil put it on my body and then the actual perfume itself and that way you have beast performance until until you know literally until the next bath so that is another tip of how you can use your fragrance oils another thing is if you've got say if you're into minis like myself i usually buy minis uh, you know as samples because i find that little samples like this are to me a little bit of some waste it's a waste of time for me because before i can even get to decide whether i like the fragrance the sample is gone so i usually buy my little minis there now if i am not decided I, you know say i've got this little me uh this is obviously um lancome's uh la via belle intensima if i've got this and i'm not quite decided on whether i actually want this okay i will go on and buy the oil you know because with these oils you can get them in three meals you can get them in 12 meals i'm sounding like an advert but i'm not advertising you can get them in bigger bottles okay or even these gigantic bottles you can even get them in a liter if you want it so say you know i'm not decided whether i want the perfume perfume oils are usually cheaper so i'll just go ahead and buy myself the perfume oil while i'm deciding okay for instance okay this is what happened with my twilly okay i bought my little mini twilly dermers and then I thought, should I or shouldn't I? Because I've got a love-hate with florals. And then I couldn't decide. 
but then I decided okay I'm gonna buy the the oil because this oil was about I think it was 24 pounds or something for 50 mils so I bought the oil and then after that I just thought no I'm not gonna buy the original the, 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 the full bottle because I already have what I I need so basically that's how I use you know that's how you can use your oils there's also a lot of other tips like you could put the oils little drops of, drops of oils in your linen but make sure the linen is black because obviously these are oils okay these are not going to vape and disappear some of them will stain uh you know your 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 your, your linen so put drops there on your linen on your pillows if you want your pillows to smell great but noting that these are oils so they don't go away quick you know they they once you put that those drops on your pillows make sure it's a, you know it is a fragrance that you really appreciate otherwise it'll just choke the life out of you you know you uh, and make sure the linen is black like i said Put uh, little drops in your car, for for instance, you know, to scent your car. I find that oils are better performing than, uh, you know, car fresheners and stuff. I just find that they give you the whole nine yards. Uh, you can also take your scented, uh, you know, fra uh, your fragrance of choice, okay? Take the scented oil and put that in a diffuser. Because, you know, when we buy diffusers, we normally have to buy the essential oils, which is the lavender and so on and so forth. Now, if you want your home to smell like your fragrance of choice, a fragrance that you love, for instance, this is Montgolin, the Intense, you can then put drops of this in your diffuser and you have your home smelling, you know, great all day. Now, I know these tips are not going to appeal to everybody. Obviously, I'm fragrance obsessed. This is why I just thought this would, you know, uh, uh, be a fun video to make. For those who love fragrances, I know I'm making sense. To those who don't like fragrances, I'm sure, you know, you're wondering, you know, <laughs> what's up with this video. So, yeah, th that's what I had to say. I just use them to enhance the performance of my existing fragrance because you may put your 500, 800 on a fragrance. Sometimes it just doesn't do him enough, okay? So I always have my oils at hand for that purpose. Another trick is to use your oils immediately after your bath when your skin can soak them in, you know, because with oils, the skin does soak them in and they last longer because of that, as opposed to a fragrance where when you spray, it, it's got that alcohol and it starts to, you know, it, it, it vapors. Well, the oil, it's the opposite. It, it's, you know, it's sucked in sometimes by your pores and it holds on for, you know, for longer. So basically, you know, the, those are some of the tips that I wanted to give you with regards to uh, perfume oils. I don't know if I forgot anything. Uh, if I forgot anything, I would, I would have to throw it in in the comment section. But that's basically what I wanted to say. And again, these fragrance oils for those who, are, who like traveling. Okay, yeah, that's another point. I find that it's easier to travel with them because if you know the aviation laws, you know, the aviation laws are very strict on perfumes. These are supposed to be travel friendly, but some 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 airlines will not even let you go in with a dab on. And, and yet with oils, you know most of them are not um you know are, are travel safe so that's another plus of having your oils you can throw them in, a, in your bag you can just boost your fragrance whenever you want it for instance if you don't have you know a, a decant of your baccarat 540 you can carry your little oil with you and then have that in your bag after you spread your baccarat on your way god knows to where maybe in the evening or something you can just you know Put, put some oil there to just revive your scent. So I just find that oils, uh, per perfume oils, you know, really do uh, the whole nine yards for me. Uh, but, be, but be warned, it, it's quite addictive. Once you get into fragrance oils and how they perform, they will shock you. Uh, another thing is to also know the good fragrance oil companies, which I'm going to do a part two of this video. where I'm going to tell you about the uh, where I get my fragrance oils and the best pre uh, fragrance oils companies. Because, you know, it's the... the, the, the some companies nail it some companies don't really nail it another last point again is that when you put your fragrance oil the way it you know presents is different from a perfume a perfume you spray it there you immediately know what it's about okay with oils some oils will give you what you after immediately and some will take time you know uh, uh to 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 kind of open the pages for you so basically that is it these are the tips i had for you for you know fragrance oils if you want to use your fragrance oils or you want to get into the fragrance oils um it's not to say you should not buy your original fragrances obviously you should but it's for those people that like be beast you know beast performance uh from their fragrance that's what i had for you today so i hope you found these tips useful my name is c chronicles i'm gonna do a part two where i tell you uh, the fragrance companies that I would recommend uh, where you get fragrance oils that are closest 
to what they are interpreting interpreting okay c chronicles is my name thank you so much for joining me please like this video if you like it uh you know turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a video share this video if you want to share it and remember smelling good is a four of good manners cheers